Hello everybody and welcome back to Microsoft Presents Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. <laughs> the long awaited right return to normalcy. We it's del been so long. We delayed finishing up this goddamn trilogy just in time for that whole announcement. You, you turned your back on it for five minutes and it's swapped between companies faster than you can even say. They made a third Oh yeah, by the way, Eki, tell us about your time down at uh, Dragon Shores. Uh, it was great. It's been a while. Perfect. You weren't. Yeah, we 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 already we did a little look at of the first uh, of the PS1 version of Spyro Year of the Dragon, but now it's time to g get back into this with Sammy, Hypicky, and James in tow. I evil plot unfolds. Because this time I'm the one holding the control. <gasps> <laughs> How's it feel? Feels really warm. Someone, someone, <laughs> I think did not. That someone did not put this back when they were done. I think, anyway, I so think that was plan. you, Logan. Nope. It smells oh. like. Food. <laughs> Smells like danger. Smells Eggs. like dragon egg omelet. So our plot begins with Lola Bunny here telling these Viking rhinos telling to steal the, the dragon eggs. To kidnap every single dragon egg and head back to Looney Tune Land as they once did came. Actually, wasn't this the plot to Space Jam? <laughs> yes. Uh, aside from all the egg, egg stealing. Just give it a, just give it a little Ow. bit of time until Microsoft oh, yeah. acquires Ooh. Universal, and then it'll be all be linked. By the way, there's a good reason why Hunter's here in the Dragon World. So he's just so he can be our egg alarm. Come on. Ow. But yeah, once Kill again, it's, it's oh. ow. Dang. I mean, once away. again, it's having just seen the look at of this like uh, like a little bit earlier. Like it is still really neat to see how they t went off of the original like. Not storyboards, but the original setup to try and just enhance the cutscenes, mm -hmm. which uh, absolutely, especially with the helpful addition of modern subtitling, uh, is definitely an, an improvement for Spyro Year of the Dragon and the Reignited Trilogy. Absolutely. So uh, tell us, tell us who this she devil is right here. She is the Sorcerer Enchantress. It's the Sorceress. Yes. Yes, it's this. Which, by yeah, the way, so... if I may uh, interject, I think... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, kudos on the redesign for the remake, but uh, I still think that the original design looks a little bit more intimidating. Oh, uh, the short the sorceress? one? Yeah, it looked more like I, a rhinoceros and less than a, a alligator. alligator. I can yeah. I could say that she definitely looked meaner. Here, she kind of looks a little more... Sophisticated? Yeah, a little more in the middle. The forgotten yeah. But yeah, for... For now, we're learning that apparently, without going through any weird portals to any stupid Avalar place, uh, if you actually apparently if you actually just dig straight down through the bottom of the Artisan's Realm, you go to where the dragons used to hang out. So just like in the Observe. cartoons. Ow. Find the eggs and bring them back, Don't don't worry about that old that old rinky dink core of the earth. It won't, it won't he's, a, he's a feline. He has eight lives left. So for those that didn't Finally, watch our, so for those that didn't watch our classic look, just at it, as I remembered. It. Oh, Jesus oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. You used Wait. the classic Spyro model. Well, just air cool is classic. It took a me a little too much. It took me a, a second little too to much. Like I remembered that. it. Hang on, hang on. Let, let, let me fix that. Uh, but, but, but continue, but continue, James, about the classic look at. So for those that didn't immediately watch uh, watch our uh, classic look at or our look at of the classic Spyro three, I will definitely say right off the bat that while I know you know everyone has their Everyone is... Uh, Spiral 1 and Spiral 2 definitely has their fans. Though, if I'll give Spiral 3 any sort of credit, I will give them credit for putting the focus back on, you know, the, you know, the dragon go. world, as it were, and that's much better. What the hell happened? I, I was... I was uh, That was me, A, giving it enough, enough time to show off that, because, again, there were... In the Reignite Trilogy, there were some cheat codes that would give you everything from, like, having cool rainbow sunglasses to making yourself look flat... Oh, that was a cheat ...vertically... Code? Yeah, no, that was a cheat. Oh, yeah, you can do that on your Switch version of the game, Mickey. Even. I I was not aware that that cheat code was a thing in the game. I thought that was a mod. Oh. <laughs> no, no, dude, no, that is an no, official. No, it's like... like I I'll show you later. Like, they, oh, there's a bunch of cheat codes. Yeah. But anyway, uh, but yeah, uh, back to you, what you're saying, James, about how the World of Dragons and stuff differs between that look at in here. Well, no, I was just saying that I do appreciate that for Spyro 3's plot. They actually do decide to actually put more focus back on, you know, the Realm of Dragons. And you know yeah. how much was lost between you know what we what we know of with Spyro One and what we learn of in Spyro Three. Oh, for sure. And uh, and and again, just to clear, and just to bring everybody back up to speed. Uh, oh, we have an intruder. I mean, I guess we're the intruders. Pretty here, so. rainbow. Oh. You're the one in charge of rescue. 
rescuing the eggs, huh? I will awesome. say, I do think the uh, character animations in this game are, uh, outclass those in uh, 1 and 2. Oh yeah, no, they, like, they, for, you'll remake, notice, like, uh, for remake standards, I mean. You'll, you'll notice that uh, on the, uh, like, there's, there's also one for money bags, I remembered, but you'll notice that they put a lot of, like, they put a lot of emphasis onto these little, like, personal animations, even in what should be just idle dialogue. Right. Uh, now, real quick, were you trying to say something, Sam? It's not Millhouse's voice anymore. I'm sad. Nope. Wait. Now, what? now it's now it's Clementine. It's, it's Clementine, and and I and I still and I will stand by the fact that I think that Megan I forgot her last name. Was it McCarthy? Hutchinson. No, Hutchinson. Melissa Hutchinson. Crap. Not Megan McCarthy. It's a whole different. Uh, anyway, uh, I will stand by the fact that Melissa Hutchinson does a really good uh, Bianca. Okay, too. so Spyro. you mentioned. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little bit yes, distracted by yes, money bags here. Uh, uh, I just like that little animation of him pointing at his bag now. Uh, but what's this about Bianca being voiced by money uh, by a uh, millhouse? Yeah. yeah, in the original money. game. I don't know. Wonder I didn't game. like Spyro Three when I was younger. <laughs> well, you don't like what, you don't like you don't like Simpsons. No, I like Little. the Simpsons. I just hate him. I, I just think millhouse. You don't like millhouse. You can, you know, you can you can like Simpsons and not like Millhouse. That's kind of what the developers intended. You mean for the creators, show writers. Anyway, that's all fair and good. By the way, yeah, we still need we still need to free Sheila. And I I don't know why I like that scowl so much on uh, Moneybags after he's done talking. He's like, why are you still standing there? Go get me some gems. You're, no You're wasting money. so much of well, my actually, oxygen. Well, I guess that is something that I want to ask. And I'll ask Sam specifically to make sure she has room to talk. Um, would you mind explaining why exactly Moneybags has that poor, innocent kangaroo all caged up? Are you asking me? Just follow me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're the big you're the big Spyro three nerd among all of us. Why don't you share some of our some insight on why Moneybags is being such a you know prick as usual? Why not? I mean, basically, basically act as if nobody bothered to watch our original PlayStation One look at, it, and it's just going into this like. Like completely blind and like proper. Because he got paid to keep her caged up because she's an outlaw. And yeah, Moneybags is just straight up a villain. Like no more just riding on the border of like, oh no, the, you know, he, he Ripto was like just bullying him. No, he just straight up is just a dick. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Okay, so there's a fine line between being a villain and being a dick. I'd say he's more of a dick in this case. True, because technically he's he's still allowing you to he's still allowing you to you know buy you know to uh, buy back his trust, pretty much, or or at least paid him to look the other way. I don't know. He he finds he sees a way to make a quick little profit. Uh, and then yeah, don't worry. We'll, 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 there'll definitely be a lot more time to like talk about everything and get everybody a chance to talk compared to the look at. Because um, we're actually doing the whole thing. There's a yeah. lot more to speak about for this game. That is true. Yeah, mm -hmm. because yeah, we were talking about that, Ikyu, that, like, it didn't look anyway. We were talking about how, like, I really do love how the trilogy, since you get, it lets you ba basically get to play them base, more or less back to back. How, like, looking at, like, starting with Spiral 1 and, like, now we're here and they really went, like, to see how much Spiral's moveset and the level design and the interactions with the characters and stuff evolved from then to here. Mm-hmm. You see, you see them minimizing what didn't work and expanding on what did work. Yeah. Though, as and I then, also did mention during the look at, unfortunately, like, while that is very much the case, it is also, unfortunately, a, a case where this is pretty much where Insomniac with the original game were sort of at their limit with what they could get away with with Spyro. So they started tinkering around with other stuff, like Sammy said, the, the Animal Buddies, and uh, is going to basically be introducing us to... Uh, what I will call gimmick rooms, which is every level will have at least two to three gimmick rooms, where it's no longer just classic Spyro gameplay because they didn't want to just, you know, I guess they did they, for I guess to their credit they didn't want to make it just be a copy paste of one or two, so they're trying to like, they, they try to make it a big old variety, a, a big old you know uh, grab bag of the genres and stuff to fit the whole fantasy theme of what's going on with Spyro. I'd say right, think it's along the lines of, of Crash 3's vehicle sections. Right. Uh, the yeah, only, actually, yeah. yeah, the only difference is that, like like James mentioned, I feel like when it comes to like in incorporating like new gimmicks per world, uh, Spyro's does feel slightly more egregious than what Crash did in 3. It feels a little more forced in than what Crash did, because Crash was a little more... I'd say the, the, fine, the fine line between, you know, when you get to stick with Crash and his roots, and, you know, when they want to, you know, ch change, change it up, like... 
heavily for the sake of, um, you know, variety, uh -huh. it was a lot more balanced. Whereas here, it definitely feels like you only have so much time playing with Spyro at his base route before he gets put on, a, put on a tank or a boat or has one of his funny little animal friends helping him out. Or ride a skateboard. Which, uh, which I, exactly. Which, uh, yeah, that too. Which, um... Sorry, then I'm gonna then I'm gonna shift over to talking to Sammy for a sec. Is that uh I'll get over it. Oh, is, poor baby. Uh, oh, come she on. Talking, she hasn't talking all that much. She needs a chance to talk to Liam. But yeah, um it's uh it's there's there's a good amount there that I can't say that they did they didn't try. They 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 did try a lot with some of these. Uh, you otherwise, can you can dive underwater by pressing thank you, Hunter. <laughs> yes, we learned thank this all in Pyro, too. In fact, you thank me for that. Hmm. By the way, Hunter, you look like you've had a little too many mushrooms. Yeah, did Where's he get a little bit yeah. taller in between games? Eh, he's not? definitely not leaning as far forward anymore as he uh, used to. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of got himself some level sneaks to, like, he really got him get back some good trade. He got himself back on the straight and narrow. Good up, bump. Uh, some arc support anyway uh but yeah uh once again similar to the look at uh and similar to how J what james's i guess uh mantra was at that time is i'm tr gonna try my best to clear levels in one go which as far as why i'm combing this place so badly there we go uh, i'm trying to uh basically you, every hub you want to start off by freeing that animal buddy first mm -hmm. and foremost, that you can have access to them in all the levels. Correct. Right. Because mm -hmm. there will be backtracking, but I can at least mediate it somewhat. So anyway, Sammy. Yes. D so since we were, since we had talked a bit about your experience with the original game in the last bit, in the last look at back then, uh, again, what were your thoughts on getting to Year of the Dragon in the Reignited Trilogy, assuming you played them all in order like you're supposed to? Yeah, I did play them all in order. Um, so... This one was interesting because I heard a lot of controversy about this one in particular because of it having a lot of glitches and not being and being rushed out. So um, I was a little like scared at first when hearing that. Oh, thanks, Snappy. Uh, but then, but as you as you played more of it, did that like subside? Did you did, were those expectations met in terms of it? Um. I didn't personally have any glitches that happened to me during that game, so I was fine with it, but I will say the bosses were a lot easier and less aggressive in this than they were in the original. So That's definitely saying yeah. something, considering I, I do I remember one or two of them giving me a piece of work. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's fair. They, I will say that these bosses definitely did not give me as much trouble as the bosses gave Icky. None of them were... In uh, Ripto's Rage. None of them were like gold. Yeah. Well, to be fair, Spyro say, 2 was their first attempt at making, like, full-blown boss fights, as opposed right. to just and chase the enemy around at full stage. Right. If nothing else, the main thing I was... In, the, my biggest pet peeve in terms of a glitch, quote-unquote, is what you saw there, and I will... Yeah, we'll, we'll see the cutscene, but, uh, is, as you noticed there with that green gem earlier... Uh, this game in particular, Spark seems to get very snooty about which gems he will and will not pick up when you are very close to them. That glitch I've experienced across all three games in the Uriah Canada trilogy, to be fair. Okay. But it feels okay. a lot more noticeable here for whatever reason. Well, let's all, let's go, let's get this out of the way right here and right now. As far as the entire trilogy is concerned, Spyro 3 was actually outsourced to a different team. Wasn't it really? Sanzaru Games? It was yeah. Sanzaru Games, yes. Huh. Same people that made okay. the likes of Sly for Thieves in Time. Again, I still think that's a good game despite its faults. I'm sure, yeah. And, the, Sonic Boom, and so the 3DS Sonic Boom games. No hot feelings. No hot feelings. Oh, right. <laughs> you gotta admit, Hype, she definitely has got that distance game going in this version. Oh, she does. It's just that I just like the timing of the original more. Right, because there's just there's zero camera change. It's just... Yeah. It's a lot more punchy in the original. You know I will say, looking back at back at how she kicked him so sky high, I kind of was hoping he'd drop in the water as opposed to the ground. Yeah, yeah it's a lot more harsh to fall onto the floor than the ground. The ground. <laughs> Fair, but I don't know. I just think it would be funnier just to see him all washed up. Yeah. I would think it would have been fun. I think it would have been funnier to see him pinball across these lands, just like in Hoodwinks too. Wait, what? He was in that? No, no, I'm, when you just say pinballing around, I'm just thinking to, like, it kind of became a meme. That one scene from Hoodwink 2 where the giant just smacks the guy and he just starts ricocheting oh, around right, the world. Yeah, yeah, my funny. I look like a clown. Uh, so, uh, Wait, voice actor that, wise. That was from Hoodwink 2? 
Yes. Yeah, the slapping scene. The yeah. Giant. That was supposed to be the giant from the Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> and they, they made that one mafia movie reference. But uh, the uh okay. Cashy. So, yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, hi. Uh, about that Sheila figure we just saw earlier. Uh, do we know who voices her in this game? Um, hang on. I'll need a second to look that up because I don't. Like, even though I can recognize a lot of these actors off the bat, there are some of them I still it's, need to look up. But it's I will the say same one who did Liz in a Crash Team Racing Nitro Field. I can, I know that. Yeah, yeah I think so. Okay. Um, and I will say that, uh, you know, new design-wise, again, like, I don't mind it. It's t I, I, it's one of those you, 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 you gotta get you gotta get accustomed to because yeah no this is a far cry from what she used to look like in the original game. Mm -hmm. I almost wonder if her hair should have been slightly darker to not stand out as much. I feel like in my case like I don't mind like the slight changes in anatomy and I think the jacket's actually a cute touch. I feel like she sure. probably didn't even need any hair. At the very least, maybe instead of like a brand new hair piece like this, maybe just kind of have like like the one little tuft. On her head, like that one, like piece of fan art that I showed you, like some time ago. Yeah, I could see that, but 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 other, but as far as like this gives her like that you know Aussie explorer uh, thing, I, I think that fits her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, especially since she did give us that whole lore dump earlier about how this side of the world used to be all full of magic up until the dragons left. With flying yeah. ships, singing forests, wishing stones. You name it. Oh, mm -hmm. all the, the, the works. But so, yeah. I will say real quick, the more I stop and think about it, my... So, back in our look at I made the complaint that with the Reignite Trilogy, it felt like it didn't feel quite as natural that they stuck to... Uh, her, her controls didn't feel quite as natural as they did in the original game. And the more I stop and think about it, I think what I should have said is more so the, the issue with the Reignite versions of the uh, buddies you come across is that... They control more the same as the original, but I was kind of hoping they control they'd get similar treatments as what Spyro did. I guess because Spyro oh, by the way, controls I was... so much better than Reignited. Oh and yeah, yet, like, yet, and yet the other characters more or less control the same, if not a tad worse than Sheila's case. And I see what you're saying. Like, oh. I see what you're hey, saying. handling and stuff. Go ahead. Hey, it, if I can go, if I can backtrack real quick, so I took the time to look it up. And uh, what you were saying, Sam, about like the same actress as Ami, uh, that, that's actually Liz. the sorcerer. Yeah. Oh, Liz, because I was about to say, because I looked up the, the actress for Sheila. I didn't see her, like, in the credits for Re for uh, Nitro Field. I was say but I will say, like, the, the actress for the Sorceress is the same actress that voices uh, Ami in that game. Oh, okay. I, okay, no, I, that, that's who I was mixing it up with. I'm sorry. I thought, okay, never mind. So, so, who, was it, so who was Sheila, then? Yeah. Um, uh, one, um, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing this, Chantel Berry. And the only other thing that I can recognize her here from is she plays a character called um, Bamphomet from Doom Patrol. Bamphomet. That sounds like so that sounds like something Matt, Matt would, would probably know. recognize. The devil yeah. himself? Well, You'll yeah. see. Yeah. If we get Matt on this, I'm sure he'll be able to clear that up for us. <laughs> it's, it's the Doom Patrol TV show. Yeah. Well, hey, guys. Uh, oh, well, actually, since you're on that page, hype. Who voices Pasadena? What's her name? Possum. Oh, Pasadena, Pasadena Possum. Possum. Oh, that was still a Debbie Derryberry. Oh, okay, okay. Well, mean, she voices her in. Yeah, she voices her in Nitro Field specifically. <laughs> oh, okay. What you doing, dude? Don't worry. I'll just keep kicking this rock until it breaks. You got it, dude. Okay. Do uh, how about that? Right, let me do that for you. Yeah. Oh, I was trying to leave. Save yourself from all sorts. And, oh yeah, and I guess, uh, again, trying to pretend it's what people haven't seen to look at. Uh, again, our main big collectible this time around is no longer relics or... or Dragons or cute. talismans. Yeah, we're looking for uh, dino... We're looking for dino dragon eggs, and there are a lot. 151 total. 51 of them? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Actually, was it 150 or 150? I, could be I think 151, because technically the last one you get are technically twins. Right. That is true. See, I so technically you know, speaking, we're both right. <laughs> so, like the original Pokedex really entry amount of uh, number we need. I think he... Yeah. Actually... Oh my gosh, now I think about, now I think about James. I, you know what? I think I completely walked right past him. I don't think he's even distracting me. Yeah, he's literally oh. just standing there doing nothing. Thanks a lot, I think. I think if I had talked to him, then maybe he would have actually started doing it, but I, I was just... I got I got that flow when I you just were literally in, you were literally in auto, you were literally in, in total automation mode. 
Sorry, I, I, I'll try not. I'll try not to. I, I, I had no idea that he had such a unique and gifted voice. <laughs> you just going off. Oh, lady, oh, lady. Yeah. Oh, well. I'll, I'll, I'll look into that later. No worries. Um, it's, so, it's nothing important in the great scheme of things. I mean, it, it wasn't. It was nowhere near. It was. It was about. It was about as helpful there as it was. It was about as helpful here as it was there. In that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened at all. I have a question uh, to propose oh. to you guys. What's up? What's up? Compared to Spyro 1 and 2, what do you make of the levels, or the level designs in this game? I think they're fine. I I don't mind them. Uh, there was only one or two instances in this game anyway that I felt a bit bummed about like enemy placement, and in particular, I'll just say, say this right now, I was doing such a good job of cleaning up levels until I got to the fireworks factory, <laughs> and, I and, I, and I completely, completely missed a, uh, a one of those... Uh, uh, I think I know exactly what you're about to. The one that's to the to. left, the one that's to the left of the exit area. Yeah, <laughs> but I'll say like yeah, as I far as like the them. levels, so like I feel like, like I feel like the level designs are pretty solid for the most part. It's just mostly the challenges you do in the levels that I tend to be really hit or miss on. Pretty pretty much the same insane here because when you're playing a Spyro naturally, it just feels it's pretty much just business as usual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's just all the other new little things they add. But in any case, uh, I think it's important uh, to Sam make note that every stage in this mm -hmm. game has, I want to say, six eggs to collect. Except for those speedways and uh, uh, boss levels. And this one's have three. Uh, oh, and also oh yeah, this one's favorite bit. The, the ones that introduce the animal friends have three. Uh, oh, and this is my, and real quick, this is my favorite thing about piloting the animal buddies when you go through the portal, they just kind of go. Whoa! But, it's uh, like, yeah. Can you tell this game is on a different myself. caliber compared to the previous entries? Eh, it's still, it, it gets the job done. Uh, Sammy, I'm sorry, I will ask you about that level design in the next part if that's okay. No, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, so stay tuned, everybody, where the Spyro game will have Spyro featured more pro predominantly <laughs> in the next part. Uh, we, we'll promise. See you next Ish. time on the next part of Spyro 3. Wait, maybe we weren't playing Medieval 2?